Hi, I'm Moises Berrigan, and this is your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. With the restrictions placed to prevent the spread of COVID-19, one of the many events to get drastically changed was this year's Veterans Memorial Service. But Santa Clarita improvised in order to honor those who have fought in combat. Here's Gilbert Melgoza with the story. The city of Santa Clarita hosted their 14th annual Veterans Day ceremony virtually on November 11th. The ceremony, which was shown on SCV TV and the city of Santa Clarita's Facebook page, honored local veterans, current serving military members, and their families. Mayor Cameron Smythe opened up the event by telling viewers what Veterans Day means to him. Veterans Day is one of the most sacred holidays we celebrate. And it's especially meaningful to me and my family. My father served in the Korean War, and my brother is currently active duty Air Force. Our veterans are the backbone of this country. And without them, there would be no United States and none of the freedoms we currently enjoy. No life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. The virtual event consisted of tributes and recognition of members who have served, along with song and prayer. For the unsung Also included was a flag changing ceremony done by the Knights of Columbus, Santa Clarita Assembly 2422, and Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 355. For Canyons News, I'm Gilbert Melgoza. As many people are concerned about their physical well being during the time of virus spreading, COC want to take the time and shed some light on the psychological and mental aspect that lockdown has on many people for the past few months. Here's Dan Lazaro bringing you the story. Mental health is a large concern for people due to the COVID-19 pandemic with individuals social distancing and trying to learn how to cope with the new routine of daily life. Fabio Medina, the Director of Diversity and Inclusion in the Human Resources Department at COC, held a virtual session to go over mental health and new social behavior. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation in March of 2020, there were 32% of adults who reported the pandemic had a negative impact on their mental health. The amount increased to 53% in mid-July. Sociology professor Katie Coleman speaks on mental health awareness. We are being encouraged to socially distance, to isolate, and in some cases even quarantine. And these are really counterintuitive to our biological social needs as humans. So there's a bit of a conflict going on there, right? With what we need and what we are being told we, we should do, right? To stay healthy, to slow the spread of this virus and maybe even stop it. Fabio states that the World Health Organization is advising people to not stay focused on televisions or reading all day about the coronavirus due to it causing high levels of anxiety and stress. Shante Rogers from the psychology department speaks about how the news reporting can intensify these emotional feelings of stress and when people do not take a break from social media. No one wants to watch paint dry on the wall, so of course they're going to give you those intense things that are going to stir up. If we're looking from the political side to even when they were doing the protest, they didn't really show the peaceful protest. They wanted to show where the rioting and the looting, so they are triggering a lot of those anxious feelings. Favlio announced at the end of the session that the campus will be opening its own multicultural center on November 30th. We are in the midst of planning what that day is going to look like. We're actually going to have a whole day's worth of events. So stay in, stay tuned, reach out to your faculty, to your professors uh, or emails. Uh, we are going to start sending out notifications on what that day is going to look like. This is Canyons News with Deanna Lazaro. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to go to our website at canyonsnews.com and follow us on all of our social medias from our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. This has been Moises Berrigan, signing off.